to use those storm drains tonight, oh, I'll bet you. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what, some big-time numbers. Let's look at this, first of all. Western slopes of the Sandias down into town. These are impressive by far, the best we've had all good summer long. And these are flooding kind of rains, but the good How news is... How about the airport? Well, hold on here. Now you're, you want to go right for it, huh? To Harris Canyon, two inches. Well, all right. The oh, sun, right. oh, you're we kind of put, yeah, we kind of put the boo signal by the sun for, for the .03. Oh, man. Unbelievable. South Valley doing very well. West side about a third of an inch. Not bad. And we are still dealing with flood warnings. East central sections of the state right now up into the northeast flood advisories and down through Chavis County as well. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on. Albuquerque, scattered storms continue to reform around the area here. We're getting a little break and then we're seeing some more off to our north and west. So could be a pretty active night for us with showers kind of jumping in and out of here. There's still a pretty good slug of moisture off to our north as well around White Rock and the Hamas at this point. We're getting a little break over the Sangre de Cristos and along the east slopes of the Sangres. We still have some rain, but check out. Out east central sections. This is why we still have flood warnings in this area, and I don't think they're going to go anywhere anytime soon. Some big time rains, over two inches of rain in parts of east central New Mexico, south of Santa Rosa right now. Big time stuff out there, essentially between Santa Rosa and Vaughn, and then well up to the north around Las Vegas. Some steady rains as well, some pretty good thunderstorms across southeastern New Mexico. Chavez County picking up some pretty good storms, especially western parts of the county now. The east starting to get a bit of a break, and then around Las Cruces, a pretty good thunderstorm going through town as well. Here's a wider look at what's happening for us. A couple different things working in our favor to make this one of the rainiest days of the summer so far. You see that twist right here in the clouds? That's a little weather disturbance that's interacting with a ton of moisture over the state and because of that we're doing pretty well. So what areas do we need to watch for flooding concerns though? Well across the east slopes of the Sangre de Cristos this evening places like Las Vegas under the gun right now. And throughout the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning, east central section, Santa Rosa already seeing it. Places like Sandia Park have seen some rain, could well see some more. Springer and Roy could get their share. And then everything starts to shift south for tomorrow across southeastern New Mexico as well. So you are going to want to watch those areas too as we head in throughout the day tomorrow. No, this is not the monsoon flow, but it doesn't matter with two different factors working in our favor. It's that little storm system I talked about kicking through. Not only this, though, we need moisture for this thing to be important. And we got it. We got it in the form of a cold front that worked its way through yesterday and into today. That juiced us up with moisture. So once we got the moisture in place and you slide that low pressure over, you draw that air up in the atmosphere and you wring out some storms. So no, it isn't the monsoon flow, but it doesn't have to be. High pressure continues to sit to our west. It's pretty much going to be that way over the next couple of days. So as we mix in that weather disturbance and that moisture over us, we'll keep the rain going throughout the day tomorrow, at least on and off here in the metro and pretty steady stuff down to the south and east and then as we get into Thursday and Friday things are going to start to back off we'll get a little bit of a break and it's possible by Sunday again we could get another little weather disturbance that could crank up our storms temperatures ah, this is a relief good sleeping weather 50s and 60s northern half of the state right now 70s and 80s down to the south let's go region by region for you for tomorrow good chance of at least scattered storms in the northwest 78 Chama 95 in Farmington 89 in Gallup across the north and east good chance of at least scattered rain tonight steadier stuff tomorrow back toward the south and west scattered storms in south and east East going to be active again for tomorrow. 84 Roswell, 84 Artesia, 93 in Alamogordo. East Mountain storms on and off throughout the night and possible into tomorrow as well. 81 Cedar Crest, 81 Sandia Park. And then here in the Albuquerque area, scattered storms continue rolling for us throughout the night and into tomorrow. Highs for the most part in the 80s. Seven day forecast for Santa Fe. We stay active through tomorrow with storms around and then things start to die down. Same deal here in the Albuquerque area. Tomorrow's another pretty good shot at picking up some more rain and then slowly we start to dry out as we head toward the weekend. That, that airport thing nice. is so goofy. What's that? That airport thing is. Oh, it, it, well, it's just bad luck. I'm telling you, you, you one, of these, stuff coming I know, down one of these times, I'm telling you, we're going to be like, we got four no, inches no, at the no. airport, nothing I in the heights. I think we need to send Larry Barker out there. Some Check sort of out. investigation. Mm -hmm. Sports is next.